I've always loved kids. And a lot of people don't know that I was a school teacher and that I have a Bachelor of Science in Education. And really, I was just a school teacher who went to law school. Um, so education has always been an important part of my life. Um, even after I was here practicing law, I was a Sunday school teacher for uh, about 13 years. So um, that was kind of what got me interested in it was my love of education and my love of, of children. And anybody who knows me at all knows that the two most important things in my life are my two boys, Hunter and Heath, and I wanted to see that um, they were uh, participating in a district where they were going to get a quality education. Um, so I guess I felt like that was a, a role where I could serve, and uh, where I was educationally equipped and also personally equipped um, to make a contribution um, in that role. Really, we've been blessed with, to, since I've been on the board, two amazing superintendents. First, um, having the privilege of working with Donnie Denbo and um, then Diane Frost um, and, and seeing their vision um, for our district and feeling like uh, I had some part in helping um, carry out that vision. Um, one thing that's been really rewarding, uh, I think, was almost every year that I've been on the board, we've been able to give teachers raises. Um, and that's been very important to me to see our, our staff being well-trained and well-paid. Um, and that's something that I, I thought was, was a great way that uh, we were able to make a contribution was um, finding ways to do that and to um, see that, that kiddos were uh, getting something quality. I think the biggest challenge is our deteriorating aging facilities. Um, we've got to do something about that. Well, we need to have schools that are safe for our kids and that are conducive to learning. Um, and it was important to the public that uh, we have a, a nice, safe courthouse um, that's beautiful. And certainly, if we're going to um, have a more beautiful, um, structurally sound courthouse, we're gonna do at least that much for our kiddos. We're just out of room, it's that simple. And we keep putting kids, um, as we get more and more kids into our district, we're having to put them in more and more uh, aging, dilapidated, portable buildings, and it's not fair. It's not fair to our kids, it's not fair to our staff, and it's not fair to Corsicana for people to move in here and not be mm -hmm. able to see that the schools are places um, in which we take pride. And if we don't take pride in education, um, it's, it's going to be reflected in the product. The biggest memory I'll have will be the lifelong friendships. Um, that I've developed. Um, you know, I think first of Diane and what an amazing role model she is. Um, she just exemplifies leadership in a woman and um, how amazing um, she's done at that. Terry has been a wonderful leader and a, and a wonderful friend to me. And, um, you know, I couldn't have served as president had I not uh, watched him in that role uh, first and do it so wisely and so well. And Scott has been a wonderful Christian brother to me for many years. And uh, I love watching him and um, as he reasons through everything. And, you know, he never hastily jumps into anything. And he's a, he's, he's a wise leader. Um, and I've enjoyed that. And John um, has such a passion for kids, and uh, I love that about him and the, the love that he feels for the kids and the, the way that he has always wanted to make a difference to kids. And Barbara, um, wow, just passionate about everything, and she takes her role so seriously and uh, wants to learn, just absorb knowledge and, um, and be an example for um, other people in our community. And to see her as an African-American woman um, stretching herself has, has been a huge blessing. I love that about her. Um, Father Ed, gosh, is there anybody any smarter than he is? And anybody that cares more about kids and, and about people um, than he does, to see his love um, and to see his, his concern for everything that he touches, you know, he makes a difference. Uh, and I love that about him. And Gosh, is that all? Oh, no, wait, there's that other girl. What is her name? Leah, my sister. Um, 
a friendship. She has no idea how much it's meant to me to see her, um, you know, her passion just for life itself and um, for the kids in CISD. Um, she believes so, so strongly in what she's doing and what we're doing for, for kids in the district. And um, she's made a difference in my life. And those are friendships that, you know, they're my lifelong friends now. And um, I can thank Corsican ISD for that. I think probably the thing that most people don't realize um, is the countless hours that the board puts in. It's it's not paid. Um, it's completely voluntary. Most of us, um, you know, during the time that I was on the board, my children were home and I would get up at six and have to get my kids ready for school. Then I would be at work and have a stressful day at work until six. And then I would be at a school board meeting many times until well past 10 o'clock. Um, you know, there were Saturdays that, that we had to do things. There were, sometimes we'd have to meet twice a week. Uh, when we were doing the superintendent hiring, we were meeting almost daily from six to 10 or so. Um, and it's completely voluntary. You know, there's, there's no, um, it's, it's, a, it's a hard volunteer job. Is it worth it? Absolutely, I, I wouldn't trade for it. Um, and I, I wanna see this board continue um, with the priorities, you know, we've created goals for the district that I'm really excited about um, and I want to see um, a lot of success and um, of course, I, you know, I won't be sitting on the sidelines. I'll be I'll be watching from uh, the front row if I'm on the sidelines, it'll be on the front row and I'll be cheering the loudest. Thank you, Perry. Goodbye.